and they talk. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Another live stream, another day, another... Woo! I don't know anymore. Honestly, Thomas, I saw your email. I have to still read it. I'm sorry. But, um... Woo! We are back, people. Didn't take that long. I have this much marinara sauce on my face. That's a joke. How do I have that much marinara sauce on my shows? That's kind of annoying. Nope, don't want to watch any of those matches. We'll watch that one. Just mute that so that way I don't get demonetized. Perfect. Woo! Hey, Pat. Thanks for joining. Pat, what do you think of the Novak situation? It is ludicrous, but what do we expect, honestly? It's kind of annoying. It's it's a joke. I feel like it's just annoying at this point you really cannot blame Novak entirely you can blame him for not getting a vaccine which is just ridiculous but you can also blame Greg Tilly and the Australian Open for thinking that this was okay that thinking this would be the process that would allow them to have Novak you know what I mean I should have done the Medvedev and Berrettini match. Well, we're here now. We'll put on this match as the extra match. I'll talk now. We'll be about Djokovic until it's official. Yeah, but he's... It's kind of ridiculous in general, too. Off-court coaching is allowed. Hmm. Interesting. Who? Hmm. Hmm. There's just a lot going on when it comes to dealing with this stuff I think the whole Novak situation is kind of annoying but it's also like it's the only thing that's going to be talked about for the next three weeks the first headline that's going to come from Australia is going to be um, it's going to be about Novak it's not going to be about the players or it's not going to be about you think PTPA will do something about the Novak oh my god that's another question wow uh, Thomas, that's actually a really good point. 
I did, but I didn't get the chance to read it, dude. I've been so busy today. Um, it it just shocks me that the leader of the PTPA is now in trouble. I know. How crazy is that? Thank you for changing the topic, Pat. I really wanted to get out of that. That's incredible. Like, I honestly, I would love to interview the guy now, but he's going to get so many requests after this. Um, after this, like, it's going to be insane to get a hold of him. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. I, I personally think that um, if we were to look at, um, whatchamacallit, if we were to look at every player for the ATP Cup and say who was, like, the MVP for each one, I think it it's going to be so tough to the side, to be honest. Because he I think he definitely is up there with who we want to have as, like, a the MVP. <laughs> It's incredible. Who else has been an MVP? I'm trying to think. Um, the way... I, uh, in Camille Majujak, uh I forget how to pronounce his last name. I, I'm so bad with names. Even giving... You're right. Sinner's getting a tough match, too. Like... It's going to be really hard. To pick. Uh, Camille from Poland. Casper um, Ruud's been playing really well too. He's been playing super, super well. He's been playing super, super well during this. Who lost... Um, who lost... Um, not Casper Ruud. Oh, Chile. Chile is very underrated in my opinion. <laughs> Chile did really, really well. It for the guys that they have, Christian Green. Um, yeah, I was thinking him too. I think Chile with uh, Tabillo was a really good pick as well in my mind. I think it it really he played super, super well, even though he smashed a racket. I think he played super, super well. He's always been like a decent player too. So I I really enjoyed seeing him get some spotlight. And Chili's like came out decent too. Came out firing. Did everything right really. Is Layla Fernandez still sponsored by ASICS? Hmm. Would they actually boycott, though? I, I think that would be super tough. That would be super tough for them. Be, it would just be unlikely. Um, the way the PTPA is structured and the way they have it, it doesn't seem likely that it would be the right thing to do. You know? I, I don't know what the PTPA would do. I really don't know. Match is starting. Is it going to be on time with the stream? I doubt it because of Tennis Shale being garbage. I don't think Isner will just because of his stance on it too. Same with Tennis Sangren. Tennis Sangren didn't even get an exemption to play the Australian Open. So it's, it's going to be a really down the middle subject for a lot of people. Let's listen in. Trust 
True on text already 15 all right now. Ooh, Metrovelli is a good shout too. Like there's so many people during the ATP Cup that I thought just had an outstanding like just an outstanding way to promote themselves. And that's like a good thing about the ATP Cup, but it's also like it shouldn't take an event that took over for the Hotman Cup to realize that there is so much talent out there, you know? It shouldn't have taken that long. Which is annoying, but now we get to see like all these guys are playing super, super well. Forty fifteen Shriantek. Good serving performance from the Polish player. Like Hurtcats has been doing work too. Really doing work. Uh, he's very right wing mm. from what I've heard and from what I've seen when it comes to um, when it comes to everything um, especially on Twitter also George is, is without Bashley Shively what like how does that work It was good to see, but it's like, I can think of so many other countries that could have done maybe better. Oh, good rally. It's going to be interesting to see that, uh, oh my gosh, Shwiantek just powered, powering that backhand uh, past Fernandez. Shwiantek now with the add-in. Thank you to everyone that's in the chat right now. I really do appreciate it. There we go. Back to Deuce. Shiantek with a good kick serve, a better return from Fernandez. Love how Shiantek does slide, though. That's just such a good inside out forehand from Fernandez. She does that so well. In what way, Thomas? I think the guy, from the beginning of his career, he's always had a chip on his shoulder, comparing himself to Rafa and Roger. But it's also one of those things where it's just... You, you don't really know. Like, from his dad speaking out... His dad literally... Like, his dad coming out and saying... By the way, Fernandez hit a lead court, and I thought it fell in. Excuse me. I think, like, his dad even said, like, we'll fight security outside. Like, who the fuck says that? Like, who says that at all? I think that's ridiculous. Good serve from Shriantek. Good backhand rally right here from Fernandez. Goes up the line, switches it. Shriantek, better backhand back. Oh my god, that forehand's an absolute rocket from Fernandez. I think a bird just took a shit on court. I think a bird just took a dump on the court. And the why is the chair umpire cleaning it? <laughs> Thoughts? She went on tech holds to make it one love. Sure. Nice. Wow. Tournament sponsored by Macron. Haven't seen that logo in forever. 
Good serve from Triantec. Fernandez really wanted to rip that one. Thank you to everyone that's in my stream right now. I really do appreciate it. Without you guys, I don't know where I would be. So if you do, uh, if you do enjoy this type of content and enjoy my channel, make sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to the channel too. Our goal this year is to hit 5K. Uh, hopefully with you guys, I can do that. So enjoy the rest of the content, you guys. And enjoy the live stream. I hate when my computer does that. Like automatically turns the... Why? There we go. Leila Fernandez, two strength. Oh, a good slice from Fernandez. What a forehand from the Polish player. Short cross court forehand for a winner. Also, Pat, a like I would have loved to have seen Sweden at the ATP Cup. Anyone else? Like, what country would you have wanted to see at the ATP Cup besides Georgia? They shouldn't let him play. The fact that Australia even thought that they could have him there is ridiculous. From the government standpoint and from the Tennis Australia standpoint, thinking that they could allow an immigrant to just... I'll explain why I said immigrant. Why they would let an outsider who hasn't vaccinated come into their country who's been so good with the vaccination process. And I say immigrant because Australia has one of the toughest immigration processes in the world. So that's why I said immigrant. What's up, clock? Yeah, TP. I think he retired, though. I'm doing well, man. Are you watching this alongside me? Uh, Thomas Clark. Also, how do I pronounce your last name? I don't want to say cloak or clock. I don't know how to... Oh, wow, that's so powerful. Exactly. They did well at Davis Cup, too. Yeah, he retired. That's what I thought, Pat. Thank you. 40-30 now for Layla to kind of get back into this game. I posted a video about it, uh, TC. Um, you can't blame Novak for everything. I think you have to put most, not most, but m the main blame for all this chaos is just thinking that they would get an exemption for Novak. When Australia is so strict with their rules... I think that's the biggest difference with it. Cloak or clock? Like a cloak or a clock? I don't know. What am I doing with my hands? Bad miss from Shriantek there. Fernandez isn't even using Asex right now. What brand is she using? Missed that first serve from Fernandez. Good second serve. Nice backhand from Fernandez. Good reset by Shwiantek just lobbing it. Pulls her off court. Goes a good cross court backhand. Nice winner from Triantec. Back to Deuce. Cloak. Thank you. Thank you for that clarification. Um, but yeah, Cloak. I think um, I think it's really hard to say that it was entirely Novak's fault, but it's just going to be the headline for the rest of the year. What a return by Schwiontek. I I genuinely think, I genuinely think that this is going to be the headline for the rest of the year. And 
can we see him? Um, can we see him possibly not playing any Grand Slam this year? It's like the that's like the biggest stretch I'm making out of this is: Do we think he could actually not play a single slam, or we're gonna allow him to not play a single slam? I feel like that's like the extravagant question out of this. Nice forehand from Fernandez. Better backhand from Schwiontek forces that to hit the top of the net. This looks like a great match so far, guys. They said 12, too. There's like 8, 12, and then he got to stay in the hotel. Great rally between the two young stars right here. Good backhand from Schwiontek. Forces Fernandez to hit into the top of the net. Wow, what a rally. I agree there's some, something should have been planned more at the start, but it, it doesn't make sense that he should have even been allowed to get an exception because of his non-vaccine. Well, we now know that he's not vaccinated. We all know now. We knew he was against it, but we didn't know if he was. Great backhand down the line for Fernandez for a winner. But now it's officially confirmed that he's not vaccinated. It's crazy. Oh, wow, Cloak. Am I surprised by that? No. Is it a good win for Evans? Yes. Should Isner be better? <laughs> Cloak, you know my you know my feelings toward Isner. Dill, what's up, bud? Good to see you. Wow, Fernandez with a good ace. What's up, Dill? How we doing today, bud? Love the setup you sent me earlier too. It looks sick. This is mine. This thing this light though blinks when I start charging it, which is very, very annoying. Don't know why. Just does. Tried to go out wide with that serve missed. Yes, TP. I forgot about that. He's playing Taro Daniel today. I don't think they still will allow him to play. Overhead from the baseline from Schwiontek. What an absolute bullet. Unbelievable. Good put away from Shuantek. Yeah, I did. I'm coming in uh, Friday. Um, I'm coming in Friday. I just have to talk to the coach about doing a, a separate video with his players. They play Penn State on Sunday, though. Wow, bad miss. We're still at, like, we're almost 20 minutes in. We're in the second game of this match. I have to check if um, if it would be cool to do one. <laughs> it's true, clock. Cloak. Sorry, Cloak. Becca Peterson's also playing against Sasevich. What's the score of that match, Pat? I feel like I should have so many different things up right now. He's vocal on Twitter. Yeah, I'll tell you, Nisdil. No worries. Oh, this weekend? That's sick. Where's sectionals? Oh, great volley from Fernandez. Really deep right at the foot of Schwiontek. Also, are you in a 5-0 league or 5-5? Uh, Still trying to figure out how it works. Two hours from now, will I be up? Who knows?
Oh, Boar's Head is beautiful, dude. That's where they had um a low-ranked uh, ITF challenger. I don't, Dill. <laughs> That's the funny part. I don't. I just called and set something up. 9-5 mixed lead? Jeez, dude. Straight baller. I love that. Also, how is Isner still ranked higher than Opelka? Another add-in for Fernandez. We're almost at that 20-minute mark right now, too. See if Fernandez can close out the second game of this match. Good serve. Good whip from Schwantek. Finally, Fernandez holds. one all. That's a, a, I love the whip that Schwiontek gets on that forehand. That Technofiber racket looks saucy. Oh, that's right. I remember you um, doing that experience. The footage from that looked good, dude. Um, Dill. Uh, Medvedev versus Berrettini. Medvedev. Definitely have to say Medvedev there just because of how he's playing. But you never really know. Ugo Humbert beat him. Berrettini lost to Demon Hour. So they're kind of in the same boat and form at the ATP Cup. I feel like it's hitting the net every single time, but it's never being called. Already a small hole for Shwiantek at level 15. What a second serve. People love seeing that experience, though. No wonder why it banged. Also, the screaming video clips that you posted were funny. Pat, does... Italy have to make... Does Italy have to win to make the semis, or are they already clinched? Because they... Cam Nori plays Fritz. There's so many good matches tonight, but I knew... I wanted to get a WTA match in. And this is, like, the future of women's tennis right here. At, at least in my opinion. So I wanted to kind of watch them play this year. Poland and Spain... Her cat's really showing why he does. Just talk to him, man. Pitch the idea. Didn't really know what else to say when I talked to him about it. I got a bunch of schools lined up. I haven't even announced yet, so I'm probably going to announce it on Monday. With the whole thing. Great serve from Shwiantek. Wow, Shwiantek really knows how to slide on hard court. Woo! That whip. Winner. Love that. 40-15 for Shwiantek. I'm American, Cloak. Did you think I was Canadian? If so, I'm honored. <laughs> Kerkets really is taking Poland to the next level. Same with Shriantek. This is kind of reminding me of um, Yuri Janowicz and Agarodwanska when they were both really, really good. But her cats is so much better than Janowicz. I think Shriantek's gonna. Shriantek's already won a Grand Slam. All right, Dill. Thanks for stopping in, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, text me how you do, man. Love to hear it. Um, have fun, dude. <laughs> Great serve. Side out forehand from Shriantek. Great. Nice hold from Shriantek. Lovely hold. Whoa! 
Dill! Thanks, buddy! You didn't have to do that! Thank you! I really appreciate that, man. That was sick. Thank you so much, man. Can't wait to meet you in person next week. Thanks, boss. Yeah, it's going to be decided, I think, with that, that, ma that next match, to be honest. It's been 24 minutes, and we're only on the fourth game. Oh, we're in for a good one, guys. We're in for a really, really good one. <laughs> a little bit. Their roster choices were garbage, but what are you supposed to do, man? Like, what are you supposed to do? Tell them they made the wrong decision? Um, yeah, honestly, it actually might be a good, um, it honestly might be a good shout for, um, ah, what's his name? Cephalin, like Botic, yeah, honestly. Kind of like the cult tennis fan's favorite. All right, what extra scores do you want to see? Do you want to see Ansimova versus Cersteia, Keys, Kazakina, Petkovic? No, eh, not really. Uh, Jordan Thompson's playing Rusevori. That's a good match. We'll put on the Cam Nori Fritz match at the bottom too. We'll do that instead. Because Sinner just won, but it was a tight set. So you never really know. Perfect. Had to put the clapping sound, right? Yeah, I think he is on his Twitter, but not as much anymore. TP? Maybe? What time is TP playing? Let me look. TP is playing, oh my god, so many scores. Is TP playing? That I don't know, uh, Thomas. I really couldn't tell you. That's a, like a really hard one. Oh, yeah, never mind. Do we want Tommy Paul or do we want Cam Nori and Taylor Fritz? Which ones do you guys want? Actually, let me see if I can do both. Give me one second.
We're going to add this one. Also, Shriantek just broke. Wow. That was the fastest break I've ever seen. Didn't even notice, to be honest. <laughs> Let's see. Schwanzer came out firing. Here, we'll get two... Two extra scores in here. If this doesn't want to lock on me. Ugh. There we go. That should be good. And then transition. And we got both scores. Wow! Shocking! Perfect. Perfecto. Wow, Fernandez's game right there was terrible. Thirty fifteen for the Polish player. Good serve from Schwiantek. Wow, really hitting a clean ball right now. Threw in a slice right there to Fernandez forehand. Fernandez went up the line and missed. Wow. That was a good rally. The way the ball is... Yes, he should. Every single time. Honestly, he should. I think it brings him luck. Nice overhead from Fernandez. But it's kind of too late for that 4 1 Triantec. New Balance has some good stuff right now. And Coco Goff's line as well has gone really well. What a return by Fernandez. I love how I posted my live stream for my Instagram live stream for the Novak thing. And it just, the amount of Australians and people that agree is quite something else. That's a seal. There are so many seals. Crabs. That's a crab rave if any of you didn't know that.
Politics and sports are something that I try to separate. Um, there are things that a lot of people stand for, which I agree with. I also think it's very hard to get other people to see your views when when all they see you as is, is an athlete, not a human. So I think it's very difficult to say and talk about it when someone already has a pre preconceived notion of who you are, quote unquote, just by watching them on TV. Thank you for agreeing with me. Fernandez needs to come out firing this game. This looks like it's getting away from her really too quick. We're back in! 30-15 for the Canadian. Great serve. Nice inside-out forehand. Fernandez needed that start. Also, guys, if you do enjoy this live stream and you're still watching along, make sure to leave a like on this video and make sure to consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Make sure that subscribe button's gray, not red. We're looking for the color gray on the subscribe button, not red. Oh, my God. That woman just yelled out like an owl to call that ball out. Yes, I did, TP. Nope, double. Ooh. Fernandez just slapped her thigh and it rung about the entire stadium. Wow, that hurts. I do that, but I don't get paid millions to do this. I should probably stop. 40 30 for the Canadian. Great serve. That was in. Ooh, Shviantek went for the down the line, sliding backhand, missed it. Yeah, to an extent. From 40-30 now to Deuce. Shwiantek has an opportunity right here. Let's take advantage of it. Wow. Shwiantek's just pounding the ball at Fernandez. Misses that one, though. Damn. Wow, she went from 40-15. Not 40-30. 40-15. Hmm. Not really. Fernanda is trying to find her composure right now. She is a fighter, so let's see how she does against the Roland Garros champion. Ooh, that was bad. That was a bad, bad miss. Break point opportunity for Shriantek right here. sponsor right now wow she got an endorsement no I'm not get, I don't get mad at people for being fans it's just it's like it's not my cup of tea Looks like Iga's asking the umpire why what the coach is screaming at her. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Shut up, Alexa. Take a look at the help section in your I haven't plugged you in in years. Why are you talking to me? Great return. Shuantek really taking advantage of Fernandez right now. It's an onslaught. Wow. Shvantec is absolutely dominating this match. That's an unbelievable shot right there. Sliding backhand. 
catches the back of the line. Absolutely love that. Mm. 30 love for the Polish player. Fernandez is just missing. She is just missing. There is I don't I don't know how else to describe the situation. Let's look at how many unforced errors she has. What a backhand from Schwiontek. Goes right back up the line to Fernandez's backhand and just catches her off guard. TP, don't worry about it, please. Nothing to stress about, too. And that's... Wow. And that's the first set. Holy crap. I, I, I really am baffled by this. Holy crap. Truantec is just manhandling Fernandez. I don't even think that's a word. But from the get-go, 2-1, 3-1. I think that second game really took a lot out of Fernandez mentally and physically. It's literally like almost a 15-minute game. That's incredible. Wow. She's there. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. All right. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go refill my water.
Ah! Press the wrong button! Ow. Well, Fernandez is off to a stronger start than before. 30-15. Good preparation from the Canadian. Woo! Coming to net, too. Love that. Forty fifteen Fernandez. Okay, better start, better start. I like this. I like this. Wow. Good hard hitting. Fernandez just overing power Shviantek on that one. Roger Federer is injured. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, for the most part. I, I That's a tough question. I, I need more time to answer that. I wonder if the PTPA has come out with a statement too. I don't think we're going to get a statement from the PTPA, are we? This is going to be annoying. I would read it. Start from Shuante. No, Thomas. <laughs> that was it. Shocking. Shrontek trying to hold right here at 40-15. Missed that. Let's see the second serve from Shrontek. Get a return from Fernandez. Schwantek really putting a lot of pressure on her legs with that.
Good serve. Better return from Fernandez. That angle that Shwiatek just hit with her backhand is incredible. Incredible. One all. What a shot from Shwiatek. There are so many birds. So many birds. Yo, what is this tweet? Tennis Sangren just put out the most interesting tweet I've seen today. Isn't Australia the slam that Tennis Sangren did really, really well into? Triple break point already for Shwiantek. First a double fault to start off the game good serve from Fernandez better return from Shwiantek good response switching it up good backhand from Shwiantek coming what a shot well, well done off a let court, Shwiatek rushes the net. And I don't even think she hit that cleanly, but she hit that super freaking hard. Wow. Just skidded, too. That's incredible. And Shwiatek broke. Okay. Let's... Dude, that bird is weird. Okay. Good question, David. All right, hold on. Give me, like, let me show you this tweet. I just want to get everyone's opinion on this because this is quite interesting and I don't know how I feel about it because for me, I really don't know what to say to this. This is what, this is what Tennis Sangren said. To be crystal clear, two separate medical boards approves this exemption, and politicians are stopping it. Australia doesn't deserve to host a Grand Slam. Okay. Let's... Seven hundred points against the injury. That's... Pat, that's pretty funny. But, just to be crystal clear here, two separate medical boards approved his exemption, and politicians are stopping it. Australia doesn't deserve to host a Grand Slam. One... Yes, they do, because you have the best success in a Grand Slam there. Two, just because you didn't get your medical exemption doesn't mean you get to bash it, even though everyone has their reasons, so good for you. And three, who, like, how does this make it relevant for you? Like... At what point do you think, like, 
Look, even like during Australia, when you had all your unsurf, like your all your tweets were resurfaced before you deleted them. Like I understand where you grew up, and I understand where you come from, and as a human, you're not a bad guy. But I don't think this take right here is the best one. It's more about keeping. And look, it's just a person. It's just one person in this team. But I think in terms of politics here, they can't approve someone who hasn't been vaccinated, won't give a good reason why, to come into their country who has the best COVID rates in recovery out there. Like, you is he jealous? That's what I'm saying. Like, just because he got his medical exemption doesn't mean you have to be a bitch about it. That's, I, I just, I just genuinely don't get it. I just. I don't get it. I, I, I truly, truly don't get it. Oh, Pat, 100%. You will always have the best name. You will always have the best name. And while we are ranting about that, Shviantek is now up 3-1, love 15. Just. Hey, Pat, you can show that message. Thank you. It's not the worst thing being said. I still can't believe I interviewed her one on one. She's just doing so well, being aggressive, hitting her strokes. I actually want to watch her press conference, to be honest, just to hear if someone asked her, do you think you play the perfect match? Because honestly, it would be a great question to ask. Good backhand right there. Goes up the line. Fernandez just... Yeah, Fernandez is just wailing at that too. That's terrible. That's not a good look. But she, Fernandez is still up in the game. She could hold. Not to go double breakdown. 30-15. Let's see. Fernandez serving. Good serve. Decent return from Triantec. Good short cross-court forehand from Fernandez. Um, good question, Pat. I think Tennis Australia should have handled it differently. I agree, TP. In terms of how far Fernandez will go, it's a good question. The way she's playing, second round. <laughs> but... I think you're right, for her at least, for making a Grand Slam final last year. Nothing should be considered a success later than a quarterfinal. But then again, did she? I think she just switched coaches. He's not the biggest idiot, but he he can be an idiot. I won't call someone an idiot until I see them just consistently do it.
Wait, is her? Oh, oh my god. I thought her coach was Pico Monaco. There's going to be a lot of work done for Fernandez after being broken 4-1. Will this be a 1-1 one one match? Dear God. Good rally right here. Good defense from Shriantek. Nice shot. Oh my God! What a lob! Fantastic shot. Well done. That's well done. That's a fantastic shot. Uh, ATP and WTA, it's just so hard to not. It's so much money that they have to figure out. And so many, so many bigger questions that they have to answer before they merge. They tried it with some social media stuff. Um, they quickly gave up on that after COVID stopped stopped um which is very annoying but totally dominating this match you're right pat um i genuinely think that um it's gonna be really hard for them to work together and the atp i feel like just doesn't they both have so many they both have so many issues too that's really hard to kind of get the grasp of it um, like the WTA even mentioned it's yeah, a hundred percent, hundred percent pet. I forgot that she was the champion. Was she champion of this one or the other one? Because didn't Barty win one as well? Um, for well I was going to say the WTA inherited the, the 250, 500 the WTA inherited the ATP versions of of 250's 500's thousands events like it's kind of crazy. They're following their path because they're trying to make sure that everyone's on the same page with the levels of the tournaments. Wow, an absolute dominating match. Just overpowering Fernandez left and right. The first two games of the match lasted 25 minutes ever since then it went by faster than the blink of an eye 40 love for the polish player oh my goodness i delpo should return it would be great for tennis thank you that melbourne thank you because i can, Wow, what a shot from Chuantec. 5-1 for the Polish player. Wow. Really showing that she's the French Open champion right now. Fernandez doesn't even look like she was the U.S. Open finalist. Crazy. Also, if you guys want to listen to a good interview with um, Layla, one, check out the press conference we had with her two year, three years ago now. Holy shit. And check out match point Canada's uh, podcast that came out today where they interviewed her. Wow. Love 15 already. I, I really don't know what to say now. I'm bar we're barely an hour and a half. We're not even an hour and a half into the stream, and Chuantec is going to take the match in two points. Wow, just absolutely dominating. Fernandez on the run, slices the ball straight into the net. That is not good.
two points away from the quarterfinals here in Adelaide. Ooh, that should be a good match. If Shwiantek plays Azarenka, she plays the winner of Priscilla Hahn or Victoria Azarenka. Triple match point. Wow. That's that's something. That is something right there. Wow. Fernandez has only won 23% of her second serve points. Schwantek has more than double the amount of points won against Fernandez. That backhand today, Schwantek, is absolutely just firing on all cylinders. 1540 right now. Fernandez survives. Sissipas is a cool player. I like watching him play. Definitely very aggressive. Very square up to the ball, too. Not just with his racket, but with his body as well. Unbelievable. Everyone's starting to click off the video, too, because <laughs> this match is basically over. Yeah, that backhand's just ferocious. I don't know how else I would describe it. 30 40. Okay, another break point saved. Another match point saved, too. Someone just commented. Someone just commented on my Novak post. Lamau, suck it. Wow, how do you miss that call? Wow. Three straight match points saved from Leila Fernandez. There's the clutch. Yeah, but scoreline otherwise says nothing. Ooh. Bad shot up the line. Good idea, but bad shot. Game point, Fernandez. Okay. Four straight points for the Canadian. Getting away with a little bit, but okay. Fighting her way back. I like it. I like it. I like it. Good serve. Now Sriantek saves a game point. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Pat can be optimistic a little bit for her. Wow, that sliding backhand from Sriantek is just so good. Kind of reminds me of Monfils. Or Novak in that sense, just pivoting off that left foot and slapping it here. She's a fierce competitor. She's a fierce competitor. Yeah, but 6 1 5 1. She has her second game point. Yeah, but it's a. <laughs> Shuantek's missing now more than she's missed the entire match. And she saved it until this point. How do you, like, how do you explain this? Like, I can't show you the match, but I'm trying to describe to you what I'm seeing. And the fact that Fernandez just saved three match points from all from errors, by the way. All from Schwiontek errors. That's pretty majestic from Schwiontek. All from Schwiontek errors. A great athlete. It's quite incredible. Paul backing herself to... Shot difficult. I wonder if she no, she would be more Canadian. Great shot. Fernandez, where has that been all day? Playing a really good ball, hits the Schwiontek's backhand, then hits a forehand inside out down the line. Like come on. We've been waiting for that for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Great shot. 
Swanchuk putting that ball deep into the court. Changing the pace a little bit for Fernandez. Swanchuk really strategizing how she hits. Fernandez, great shot. Let's see this inside out forehand. Swanchuk guesses right. Fernandez, bad volley attempt. Great get from her. Wow. But not enough. Fernandez holds after saving three match points. 5 2 up for the Polish player. I'll be right back. Work to do to get to that. Okay, Fernandez finally decided to win some points. Interesting choice of when she wanted to start winning. Love 15 all. Anna Samova beats her stay. That's a good win for the American. Good serve. Fernandez now, like, hitting with confidence. It's a little late. Wow, that's a great forehand up the line from the Canadian. But I feel like it's a little late for that. I'm going to keep saying that until this score changes. Do we really think this is going to go three sets? 30-15, Shviantek. And then, like, does... Oh, get fucked, you s dumb stream. There's been an error. Well. Oh, don't tell me. Ah! Oh! Really? I like how I'm trying to watch this in the UR URL is tennischannel.com forward slash watch now forward slash Hotman Cup 1129 2017. Like, what are we doing here? Oh, thanks, Cloak. Appreciate that. Been wondering. I do have the scores up. I just can't see them. No, fourth match point for the Polish player.
Let's see if Shuyante can finally close it out on this one. Let's see. And that's game, set, and match, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. It's game, set, and match. Wow. That's... Shwantek just absolutely dominated this entire match. It only took... Let's see. Let's see if we can do mental math. 7 plus 7... Took 17 games... No. Whoa, no. 14 games for Layla Fernandez to start swinging with confidence. Which is... Incredible. Should have been a lot earlier than that. But... At the same time, what can you do? This was a really fun match, and I really did enjoy watching it with you guys. Um, if you did enjoy this content, make sure to leave a like on this video as well. Consider subscribing to Tweenerhead Tennis to watch more stuff like this and new content that we come out with every single week. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you want to follow us on all our social medias, all the links to those are down in the description below. We have memberships available for you guys as well if you want to check that out. But I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, guys.